I had no idea that I was going to do this when I flew in from Germany with my little baby and my husband. And, and then I, I got here and of course my community were just like, you need to go, you need to go play for the Portland Thorns. And you know, you're just thinking, you just had a child and you have all these plans in your life. And, and, and I just said, you, you know what, okay, I'll do it. My parents, my husband, my, my high school, my everybody was just like, go for it and do it. And, and I did, and I'm, I'm glad I did it. And so it's just an unreal feeling to have been brought up here in, in the club and in, in the high school and, and everything. And then I, I play in front of all these people that I like love and adore and respect and my mentors and my family. I didn't go to college here, so my family didn't get to see me play a lot. So just all of that, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a great way, I think, to maybe um, finish soccer, you know, is here on my home, so. Kat Tarr will come in. And if I'm not mistaken, this might be Tarr's first bit of action for the Portland Thorns. Having just had a child, what, seven, eight months ago? Yeah. How did you get back into that fitness regimen that you knew Paul was going to demand in order to get any playing time? Yeah, um, he sent a packet, and I looked at the packet the first day, and I just left because at that point I had not even started jogging and so I literally Ooh. just picked one thing and I did it and then like I, what give me an idea what would be that one thing okay so there's running lifting sprinting agility in there I picked agility for the first day okay. and I just put some cones down and I just started I put some my tennis shoes on bought some ten, new tennis shoes and I just did it and then the second day did it again and then the third day I went to the track and I got the soccer ball out, and it was just literally little increments. And, and I was training with a, a local girl who just won um, the NAI um, hmm. National Conference, and so she was also training, and she was just kicking my booty. Just, and so I was just... Were you thinking, oh my gosh, how is this going to work? Yeah, I totally was, because you know, the small steps, and I'm so competitive, and so just looking at her back the whole time while we're doing sprints. <laughs> Wait! Yeah, but it also drove me, I think, because um, I like the underdog position, and, and I think that's what this has been the whole time, is me being the underdog, and, and I accept that role, and I like that role, and, and just, you know, chasing after day after day after day, and then coming to the combine and knowing that maybe I wasn't my fittest, but just you know, working hard and talent really can only get you so far. I think hard work and dedication um, is that extra little bit you need, and that's what I what I gave. So looking for more header. Oh. How about Tar? And on the pitch, you know, you earn everything to get out on that field under Riley's system. Nothing is given. No, you've got to earn everything. So you know, when you get that starting nod, training had had to have gone very well for you. You earned it. That's got to just fill your heart. Yeah, I mean, um, every player, every player in that 11 is has fought for that spot. You know, Paul's the type of coach, he plays the, you know, the players who can fit into a system, but also the players who work the hardest, who show the, the best in training that week. And so that's my goal is every week to come out as hard as I can and, and, and do my best and, and fight for that starting position. But it's, it's, it's also a great thing to know that everyone else is fighting, you know, and that keeps us at a high level because you never know if you're going to get that starting spot, so you're working hard, and so is the girl next to you and the girl next to her, and she's pushing you and you're pushing her, and we're all pushing each other to get better, and I think you see that in our game. I think you see slowly that we are climbing and getting better and getting better and being more comfortable with each other, and, and just having that 100% go, 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 and training and fighting, it's, it's what you need. Kind of a dream come true, kind of Cinderella, kind of Hollywood, kind of <laughs> script-like, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, it's full circle. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I just think, is this, I'm just going to practice in, at the Thorns and this is what I've dreamed about and it's happening, you know, not everybody can say that their dreams come true, but I kind of can, so.